Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. We have the square root of square root of 3 plus square root of 2 plus the square root of square root of 3 minus square root of 2 all over square root of square root of 3 plus 1. And we're going to be simplifying this expression. As is, this doesn't look uh, very nice, so we're going to make it nicer by getting rid of some of the square roots here. So, for that purpose, I'm going to call this expression x and square both sides. Obviously, that's a very common method. One thing I want you to notice, though, this is a real number because square root of 3 is greater than square root of 2. And not only a real number, but it's also a positive quantity because this is a positive quantity, this is a positive quantity, and this is a positive quantity. Therefore, x needs to be greater than 0. Always keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and square both sides and see what happens. Now, when you square both sides here and here, you're going to get the following. That's a quotient. So let's go ahead and square the numerator. So the numerator looks like a plus b. And if you square a plus b, you get a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. That's going to give you, of course, the outer square root is going to disappear. We're going to get a squared plus b squared plus 2 times the square root of root 3 plus root 2 multiplied by root 3 minus root 2. And all of that is going to be divided by the bottom expression squared, and that's going to equal square root of 3 plus 1. That is simple. Okay, now let's go ahead and simplify this expression even more. But remember, this is equal to x squared, and x is always greater than 0. I wrote, it kind of looks like x squared is greater than 0, but what I meant to write was, uh, was x is greater than 0. Of course, x squared is also greater than 0 in that case. Now, square root of 2 cancels out, and we can write this as 2 root 3. Now, inside the radical here, what is going on? We have root 3 plus root 2 and root 3 minus root 2. Those expressions are conjugates. And when you multiply two conjugates from difference of two squares, as you know, if you multiply x plus y by x minus y, you get x squared minus y squared. Therefore, the expression inside the radical should give you 3 minus 2, which is 1. So I can write it as the square root of 1 and then divide it by that. And obviously, this simplifies because 2 times the square root of 1 is just 2. So I can write the x squared as 2 root 3 plus 2 divided by root 3 plus 1. I hope this made sense. If it didn't, let me go ahead and explain real quick what I did there. Because I know sometimes people say, hey, you're skipping the steps and you're not really going into the technical details. So let me go into the technical details a little bit. So this kind of fits the pattern of x plus y times x minus y. And when you multiply these kinds of expressions, you're supposed to get root 3 squared minus root 2 squared. And that is equal to 3 minus 2. And as you know, that is equal to 1. That's how we got 1 from inside the radical. And then when the 1 was multiplied by 2, that basically gave us a 2 here. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Now, a lot of times when we have a radical expression at the bottom or in the denominator, we try to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate, right? So normally you would multiply by root 3 minus 1, both the top and the bottom, to get rid of the radical. But this is a special uh, case scenario because the top is factorable and it's actually very nicely factorable. So if you take out a 2, you're going to notice that we get root 3 plus 1 inside the parentheses and at the bottom we have the same thing. Great. So what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that or it should tell you that, you can simplify this. Root 3 plus 1 does not equal 0, so we can go ahead and cross these out. And from here, we get a really nice, simple expre uh, expression, or equation, I should say, x squared equals 2. And as you know, this equation has two solutions. There are two numbers whose square equals 2, and those numbers are radical 2 or rad 2, and the opposite of rad 2. So we have these two solutions, but remember, we said at the very beginning that x needs to be positive, therefore negative root 2 is not acceptable. And it also makes sense because we start off with a single expression. It's not a variable expression. It is numerical, so the answer should be unique. Therefore, our expression is equal to square root of 2 in the simplest form. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.